Hello and welcome to this rapid review of the internal capsule, an introduction to a structure which is considered very important in stroke. So the internal capsule sits as a subcortical structure surrounded by some deep nuclei. These are namely the thalamus and some structures associated with the basal ganglia. These are the chordate nucleus or the head of the chordate nucleus here, the putamen and two components called the globus pallidus, an internal and external segment. The internal capsule is a collection of ascending and descending axons and it is divided into three components an anterior limb and a posterior limb and a flexure in the middle called the genu certainly um, with this transverse view this is how we can see it so now we need to look at the fibers that run inside these specific areas of the internal capsule we have the ones in light green and the ones in yellow the ones in light green are the frontopontine fibers these run from the cortex down to the pons and probably most likely relay with the cerebellum the thalamocortical fibers are somatosensory in function coming from the body and trunk relaying to the thalamus before going on to the cortex in the posterior limb and genu we have some motor fibers here in pink and we have more of those thalamocortical fibers the pink fibers here are motor fibers called the corticospinal tract fibers and these occupy the majority of the posterior limb. The flexure in the middle where the genu is are a special type of fiber which are associated with the head called corticobulbar fibers. These relay with the nuclei of motor nuclei of cranial nerves. The blood supply comes from a number of sources and first of all we're going to consider the internal carotid artery which gives rise to both the anterior cerebral artery and the middle cerebral artery but before it does that it gives off a branch that goes to the most posterior section of the posterior limb of the internal capsule called the anterior choroidal artery and this goes to the lateral geniculate nucleus involved in vision Further branches come from the anterior cerebral artery and these go to the anterior limb of the internal capsule supplying those frontopontine fibers and some of the thalamocortical fibers. These branches are called the medial striate arteries. Probably considered to be the most significant are the myriad of branches that come from the middle cerebral artery. These are called the latrostriate branches, sometimes referred to as the lenticulostriate branches. These are vulnerable in people with poorly controlled hypertension, so often rupture spontaneously. Now these supply the component of the internal capsule, which is the posterior limb, and the posterior limb contains the motor fibers and it's the motor fibers that are considered to be most important in stroke because of course they lead to paralysis so the lateral striate branches coming from the middle cerebral artery are emphasized here as being the most important branches subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain